Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be providing a detailed explanation of Pythagoras theorem and also we have depicted three real time examples how we can use the Pythagoras theorem to solve our real life problems. The first solution we are trying to explain here is, so we will see how we can use uh, Pythagorean theorem to calculate the distance from the roof of the house, distance from the roof of the house, from this distance, this is the roof of the house and from the house, that is this one to this one and we, have, we know the height, so we know the height and we know the distance uh, from the house then we should calculate the we should calculate the length of the ladder here which is c square so we have a right angle triangle something like that in the pythagorean theorem where c square is a hypotenuse this is hypotenuse and this is a perpendicular which is uh, a square and b square which is a base that is a formula we have a pythagorean now when we calculate uh, a square which is a perpendicular in this case is this is a distance this is the height is a measurement here the height here is which is 14 centimeter and distance from the house which is base b square which is 11 centimeter then if you apply pythagorean theorem you will get 14 square plus 11 square which is, is equal to 18.6 is the c which is distance overall length of the ladder which is 18.6 centimeter that is how we can use uh, Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, what is the length of the ladder we should use to climb this house now we will move on to the next uh, solution which we can provide uh, by using Pythagorean theorem So next example we are trying to show here is there is a bird which is sitting on top of the tree and we wanted to safeguard that bird from that bird nest. Then how will you use this Pythagorean theorem to do that because we need a ladder to climb the tree to fetch that bird or to save that bird. Now again similarly how we applied Pythagorean theorem in another example here also we should measure the ladder length so in order to get the ladder length what we should do is we should first uh, define what is the height of the tree from bottom or from the ground to the bird nest that is so one we should have the data and another one is from tree to the ladder beginning we should know that which is base one is we should know the perpendicular and we should know the base then we can define what is the length of the ladder we should have it similarly we are given the example here with the data here by doing that c square plus a square plus b square we can do the calculation and that is the this would be the answer for the length of the ladder for this example to save the bird nest so now we will move on to the third example. So in this example, so we have taken a altogether different example here. So here we wanted to see the measurement of the shadow which created from this tree. What is the length of the shadow? If you wanted to do this calculation, we can use the same formula here, which is uh, total height of the Tree, which is 19 centimeter and we know the total uh, shadow which is base which is 19 centimeter again apply the Pythagorean theorem which is hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square and that would be the answer we would be getting uh, for hypotenuse so this is the value we are going to calculate what is the distance uh, of hypotenuse so that we can calculate using this formula so this is how we can solve the real life example by using pythagorean theorem i hope you guys got a clear idea now how we can demonstrate the pythagorean theorems on real life examples thanks for watching this video bye for now take care